Hi guys, John's apartment has a balcony that is very bare. So I wanna hook him up with some aquatic life, plants, so we can grow our guppy fish out there. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. I think this is everything that I need. I got a regular one of these buckets. I'm gonna lift it up because I wanna put plants around it. It's an apartment balcony. But I'm thinking that, I'm not sure how sturdy that would be, so I got an extra, something that'll add a little more stability. It's not the prettiest, but I got contact paper. And I'm gonna wrap this and this. It should be pretty sturdy. Sponge filter, splitter, because I also have a seasoned sponge filter. Airline, Whisper Tetra. And this is a just in case. There's a couple nights it looks like it's gonna get cold. I probably won't ever need this. This is just in case, because it's very early in the year for uh, where I live. I'm in uh, Southeast Pennsylvania. So what I wanna do is the contact around here, make it look a little nicer. I'll get some pansies or some kind of cold flowers around here. Get the water in here, get this tank cycled, and put our feeder guppies in here. Um, I want them to propagate. I want to make my own food. Hopefully I will get the lionfish off of feeder guppies, but and if we do, then I'll have guppies, so I'll be fine either way. And, oh, and I'm going to make a water garden. Oh, I'm missing something. We got little hooks. These little S hooks. And I'll put them on the inside with the basket so for some marginal plants, just such a tiny tub. I'll probably have one or two marginal plants, uh, some floating plants like a hyacinth maybe. Um, yeah, maybe some creeping Jenny, because who doesn't like Jenny creeping? So, let me see how far I can get tonight. I wanted to surprise him, but I didn't feel like picking up the flowers at the store I was at. So, I'll get some tomorrow. I didn't want to get, I wanted to get everything tonight because tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful and I want to ride my bike. And I can't put any of this on my bike. I have some bags, saddle bags, that I have for fishing, but nothing large like this. And I have to pick up a wheelbarrow, so. Because I want to have a pond in my backyard. But first, I want to take care of his balcony and get some kind of aquatic, life going outside. Let's see how far I can get on this. So here's what I got so far. I covered the Lowe's bucket with uh, contact paper. Put in the air still. I don't know if you're going to be able to see any guppies in there. Oh yeah, there you go. There's some guppies. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Now I gotta get some, I'm gonna get some plants and put them in pots. Then I'm gonna get some marginals and hang them on the side. I do have a heater in here because it's a little early, but they were gonna die in the little bowl that they were in before. Oh. So this is at night. I just finished it up. Let's see how it looks in the daylight. And hopefully these will all fill in. I might even get smaller little plants in front just to make it a nice little cove it'd be really nice in that corner I might move it over to the corner but the corner doesn't get as much Sun as it does right here so I thought the plants were more important we'll see how it looks tomorrow so those tall ones they might be too tall for the size but we're gonna see 
If they are, I'll take them to the pond and bring over something smaller. And here we got some Creeping Jenny. We've got a water, water hyacinth, which will spread, overtake the whole thing. So these are like an Amazon sword. This is stuff that's growing underground. Well, underground, underwater. Um, what is this? Oh, it's gonna be a water orchid. That's nice. It looks like it was forced bloom, but there might be more blooms. Gets a lot of sun. And I got some pansies. Um, yeah, so this is, I feel comfortable now that he's got a little something. Now we'll get some chairs. Put some chairs and a table out here. We'll have a nice little area. I'll probably create a little, little kind of fountain. 